Hey guys, Christy here from Civil Life and a HoneyBook Pro, and welcome back to our channel. We work with so many amazing photography clients to deck out their HoneyBook accounts, and one of my favorite things that we create for them are actually HoneyBook Smart File Style Guides. They really just elevate your brand and they're able to make your client feel super nurtured and get excited about their upcoming shoot while also showcasing your incredible photos. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to create a style guide using HoneyBook Smart Files. It's actually a lot easier than you think. Let's dive in. So here we are in my HoneyBook templates folder where I'm gonna walk you through this photography style guide. So when you're creating your style guide, you're just gonna click create new and then custom smart file. From there, you're then going to name this uh, style guide, you could do style guide template, you could do um, like couple style guide, family style guide, whatever the name of it is, and whatever you want your client to see as well. And then from there, you can go ahead and just start with a text box. Now this entire style guide is really just meant to be visuals only, there's no selections, invoice, anything like that. So I'm actually gonna pop back into the original one the templates and click into the photography style guide and just go through what these content blocks are um, some different settings about them to really customize them to you and your branding and also i just wanted to let you know that we do have an entire playlist on youtube about smart files one that goes through creating a brochure will go through different elements of these content blocks but again let's go through what this guide looks like and then how i built it out so I'll just go ahead and preview so you can see what it would look like on your client's end. So this says what to wear guide. If the question of what to wear is weighing heavy on your mind, here are some tips to get started in the right direction. So just saying neutral colors, obviously you're showcasing your photography. Two, dress comfortably. Three, coordinate. Four, be you. And five, have fun. Of course, make this your own. If you have a style guide that you use and say it's just a PDF version, you can absolutely bring those elements into HoneyBook and really have this as an interactive file get that gets sent to them automatically. Okay, so if I exit preview, I'll show you. These are all content blocks. This has a text block in it, and it just has two paragraphs, right? The heading and then the body paragraph. So I just wrote up at the top what to wear guide, I capsed it, and then if you hover over these lines, you can select the font to be any font you want, the size to be any sizing, you could change the font color, um, the alignment, the background colors, italicize it, etc. So for all of these, I just added a text block and then changed the font. If the font for this file is just this um, specific font, then it'll do that automatically. But say you wanted to have a different font for headings, then you can do that as well. See, click of a button, super easy. Um, so put a text block in there. Now, what if you're like, okay, so this is just one main content block, but let's go ahead, let's go ahead and create this double one. So if you click add a block, and then let's say we wanted to do text and image, now you'll see if you just click on the block itself, you can have one column, two columns, or three. So if I click add, now that's two, add three, now we have three. So from here, you can add different elements. Let's bring it back to two. So here I just added an image, um, and then this was a text block. You can also add things like dividers if you want that text to be centered, right? And then you can click add image and then upload your own images from there. Once you pull the image in, you can crop it to however you want. Um, and then you can also stretch it to fill that whole box. Now, if you stretch it, that's also gonna be dependent on if you click in the box again, the content width, right? So you can see if I do small, they're not gonna be stacked. Medium, they're next to each other and large, they just make them larger. You could also do large and then say if you don't want it full length, then you can actually make this customized to how big you want. 
Another option is if you click on the content block, you could change the background color. So say you wanted it, that'd be pretty bright, but say you wanted it to be that pink color or add any hex code you want with any of your branding colors. Um, you could even do a background image. So get fun with the design here. Say I wanted to have this as my background image. Um, and then if I go back, the background color opacity, now you can have kind of like this layered image or maybe you want to have text on top of this background image. Um, so lots you can do there. Space the columns, change the padding. So that's how you do a bunch of different elements like that. Um, so you can see this was a two block column. This was one two again same thing two here but the content blocks are large instead of that medium this was just a text block two column one column and one column so it's fun to spruce it up give it more dimension and then one last thing actually a couple things i want to mention to you is if you want to change this button here you're going to click on the button and then you can change the button text so you can click submit done whatever you want it to be there um, then the theme of the smart file, you can apply your company theme, which is going to be in your company settings, or you can make like the theme standard, right? So any font and text blocks will be this font, the button font, etc. And then the configuring the settings. So you can change the thumbnail of this smart file. You can have your client have two factor authentication. I actually typically leave this one off. Um, and that would really be, you could see the other files, the other settings we have in this smart file, but really those probably wouldn't apply to a style guide because um, it's, you wouldn't really necessarily expire this or it wouldn't have like an invoice or selection where it would then draft another type of file. It's really just this standalone type of guide. So, and then one more thing here in the three dots here, the last thing you're really going to want to make sure is if you click edit email settings where it says get started, this is going to be the button in the email. So I would, I would instead change this to style guide. And then you can also select an email template that goes with this um, style guide that's maybe like one month out or two weeks out getting them hyped up for their upcoming photo shoot. Now that also might be managed through automations, but it's not a bad idea to link it through here as well if you ever just want to send it one off to a client. So make sure as well as you are editing your style guides, any of your smart files that you're always updating the templates. Another thing is when you do start that file, you would have seen, I think it was nice to meet you, was the original title of the guide of that first page. So you wanna make sure that it doesn't say the title of the page actually makes sense, right, for what a style guide is, or you can absolutely leave it blank. Um, another thing I would suggest, as always with Smart Files and HoneyBook in general, is if you create something new, send yourself a test and make sure on the client end with the email and the button and what it looks like is exactly how you want it to appear to your client. So that is it. It's pretty simple, really just content blocks with text and images, but a really fun way to personalize your client experience and nurture your clients really well. So I hope you enjoyed that video and it was helpful for you. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because we have so many other amazing HoneyBook videos for you to check out. If you also need some more HoneyBook support, we actually have two options for you. Either you can work with us to to build out your HoneyBook for you, or even just grab a one-on-one -on -one strategy session, or we have an entire DIY HoneyBook course where you can take it at your own pace, learn, implement, and totally set up your HoneyBook the right way. I will link both options below in the description if you wanna check them out, if you're just feeling like you need a little bit more support. But no matter what, I'm so grateful for you being here and supporting our channel. And I really hope these videos are helpful for you and guide you along your HoneyBook journey. With that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.